Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another Price is Right. Hopefully, everybody had a great freaking weekend and uh, about to have a great freaking week ahead of them. So, of course, y'all know I got a crazy one for y'all today. Uh, a little spooky, a little crazy. Um, honestly, head spinning is going to make you rethink your reality in some of these. Uh, can't lie. So, of course, uh, y'all know before we get started, y'all got to smash that like button for me so we can get the algorithm back up. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content and uh, leave your thoughts down in the comments below Let us know what's going on and y'all know what that means. It's time to hop right in y'all. Let's get it That's <laughs> 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 you Carlos Ooh, Where are those little big guys? Got more leprechauns, y'all. I told you. What's up with these leprechauns recently? Little gnomes, maybe? That's creepy. Hi, Chihuahua. <laughs> you don't see that? Oh my god, what is that? It's a dog, isn't it? Can you hear that growling? Oh, shit. Oh my god, what is that? Whoa, that's like a big cat like dog man. Werewolf looking creature. And so that blob, I'll put a little finger down in there for y'all. That's supposed to be a giant. Beside that blob is a tank though. Just give y'all a little per uh, perspective. Supposedly they uh, went down there to go and try and find it back in like 2002, something like that. The army did, so. Couldn't find anything on what they found, but it seemed like it was a big deal back then. Watch this. Authentication is irritating. This is a developmental system made by MC10, and it has uh, an antenna and some sensors embedded in it, and what we plan to do is work with them to advance a tattoo that could be used for authentication. You sound insane. Do you realize that? It may be true that 10 to 20 year olds don't want to wear a watch on their wrist, but you can be sure that they'll be far more interested in wearing an electronic tattoo if only to piss off their parents. My mom and dad are gonna be so I take a vitamin every morning. What if I could take vitamin authentication? What? This pill. Yeah, exactly. What? Like. So kids are still trying to piss off their parents, huh? By getting an electronic tattoo. Has a small chip inside oh, of it matrix. with a switch. And it creates an 18-bit ECG-like signal in your body. And essentially, your entire body becomes your authentication token. Motherfucker. This week. What is this authentication though they're talking about? Like, so you can keep track of them? Doesn't sound good to me, Miss Red Pill. The relative humidity in China hit a staggering 100%. And honestly, I've never seen anything like it. Videos are coming out of people showing their walls and ceilings absolutely drenched, while others had to use window scrapers and even hair dryers to try and remove the condensation. Some people even had to sleep with umbrellas because even if you scrape off the water, it soon comes right back and starts dripping on you while you sleep. Wait, so we just saw it like frozen, like hell froze over there. Why is it so freaking wet? And not icy anymore. The red paint on the Lunar New Year's posters were completely soaked and started dripping, making the walls and floor look like a freaking crime scene. People couldn't live <laughs> in their homes because the doors that used fingerprint recognition stopped working. Oh, and it was no. even turning bags of chips back into mashed potato. And what's crazy that is that this kind chip. of weather usually occurs later in the year when it gets warmer. But it's only March, and with the 100% humidity, it hit a sweltering 30 degrees Celsius, with residents saying that it's the worst they've hmm. experienced in decades. And this comes as February became the hottest month globally on record, marking the ninth month in a row that global hmm. heat records have been smashed. Like I said, that's weird. We were just seeing all that ice and now it's humid as hell. Or maybe that was previously. Let me go more Project Blue Bean in Austin, Texas, y'all. In place of truth, we give you miracles. We make you see what we want you to see. Everywhere. Anywhere. 
Okay. <clears throat> My daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing some. All right, put your flashlight up. <laughs> okay, wait. We're gonna look down for a minute, but put your flashlight down. Let's see if we can get it to go again. All right, flash it up. There. Oh. Oh. Now it's gone. Mm, giving me goosebumps. Put your flashlight down. Watch it again. That's it. I'm falling up there. I'm falling up there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Put it down. Put your flashlight down. Mm. Let's see if it'll do it again. Peeking right, out the window. Right. Oh, look at that, dude. Hey, she's seen this for real. Couldn't figure out what's going on up there. This is the meteor in question here. Take a gander. Imagine eating a nice little late night dinner. Looking up seeing that thing. Yes. Now, authorities up to this point have made a statement saying that they, they can't even fake it. That was just a meteor. That was a meteor that I, I'm assuming we just missed. But, uh, but yeah, so we had a bit of a scare there, and then uh, Scotland had a bit of a show. So there you go. Yeah, sleep tight, sleep well. Um, everything's great. I'm kidding. It's not. About this, even further news, people said that they were so close that they can hear it as it was whizzing through the sky. Come here. <laughs> not a lot of things scare me. But that right there just that I'm I've now figured out what my biggest fear was and it was that it just happened that that happened now. <laughs> that was close. This huge giant prehistoric looking thing was caught on camera in the Fraser River of Canada. That's one big mother. Yeah, that giant creature and nobody knows what it is. And you know it's not the first time something like this has been spotted. Nope. You ever heard of the Loch Ness Monster? Yeah, people have been seeing that thing for decades. Here's another picture. <laughs> of some prehistoric monster caught on film in the 70s. Look at the size of that thing. That's got to be 30, 40 feet long. I mean, not as much detail as this dinosaur looking thing. But still a pretty good picture for 50 years ago. And here's yet another one spotted in a lake in Russia. Look at that neck. Look at the size of that neck. Or maybe it's not a neck. Maybe it's a giant arm. These kind of creatures have been seen mm -hmm. all over the world. And now thanks to cell phone cameras, we're getting way more evidence of these prehistoric jeebity weebities. Okay, Vushkis, Shabadoo. Hey, I wouldn't want to mess with that creature. It looks like it's on steroids. <clears throat> Alright, so did y'all see this on the news the other day? That cruise ship almost tipped all the way over for once. I've been in a cruise ship whenever it tipped over, like, not that bad. But I mean, the tables were falling over, glasses were sliding off the tables. Like, that shit's crazy. People crying at dinner. Talk about scary. And the water just whoo, covering the windows. Mmm. Makes it hard to enjoy cruises, but I still love them. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hell no. Some people about to cash in. Sheesh. That's hard to watch. So, if anybody can see, this is what came, it's coming out of the sky. We thought it was snow, but look, it's jelly. Who knows what the f putting in the sky, but this is fucking scary shit. Whatever is raining out of the sky is not healthy. This is some fucking government made fucking rain. Who knows what they're putting in the sky. That's different. It's everywhere. It's weird that it's just that one little glob, Where though. Did it come from? Oh my god, I don't think it come from. What? Damn. That little ninja turtle. Razor.
Come on now. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I did I think the same thing about that McDonald's. Let me know what this is and how the fuck this happened. Come on now. Okay. It's glass. Uh, it's supposed to look like that. I remember my first beer. <laughs> You gotta grab it by the neck to drink. Really. Hey, it's for special people just okay, like you. <laughs> you. Gotta deep throat their beer. I think we've seen this one before. Death grip on the fucking door. Uh, this is the weirdest oh, thing though. It just like turns off. Watch this. Oh. Like what? That's gotta be made. That's gotta be CGI, right? And why does it look like someone is sitting on that bench? Hmm. I don't know about that. This is a top secret footage of a diver found a UFO in the ocean. The unknown flying object oh. is located around the area of the Bermuda Triangle. What we see right here is a UFO packed with unknown technology. Oh, wow. It's still on? Where is this UFO coming from? That's crazy. Dang, that's pretty big. As you can see, the lights of the instruments are still working. Hmm. Are the passengers of this UFO time travelers? What passengers? I don't see nobody. I sunk your battleship, bitch! What's up? Or are they coming from a far away? Awesome. Breaking news. This is the balloon that was just found in Alaska and delivered back to the government. I believe it's being taken to Virginia. Now, there's some things in here that I find that's very interesting. One is you can see the size of this. This is definitely something that's not a weather balloon, as you see here. But look at this, if the junk that's going on. You see that guy? He just propeller. spun that like a propeller, which is very interesting it's because big ass lawnmower were blade. able to see that when the balloons flew over America a little over a year ago. Hmm. Also, watch this guy's hands of him picking up a cylinder piece, which is something that can go together with also this green stuff that's laying around. Now, I'm not able to show you. But if you were to zoom in on that, you can tell that that stuff is more than likely things of like a computer chip, a motherboard. Uh, your video cards that go into your computers. That's exactly what this type of stuff looks like. And there's a ton of this that is laying around in there. You see how there's even yeah, more that's back there. So it's interesting to what you're seeing here. Hmm. The next thing is you can see that these poles are chopped up. So it makes me wonder if whoever was flying these over knew that this one dropped came and took out the main part of it, and then was hoping that all of this stuff would sink. Next, pay attention to all these lines that are laying across here. So this is one of the balloons that was flying over last year, and this was taken by Dragon Lady. This is the wing, this is the shadow that's on the balloon. These are very large, but I want you to pay attention to the lines that are coming off of here. Those were likely to sit here and hold the stuff up, as well as tethered lines to sit there and hold it while this thing was being lifted off. But, as you see, that is possibly what all this white line is here. Now this thing looks like it could be the top, the bottom, I have no idea of what this contraption is that's attached to the balloon. I'll play the video so you can see it, but yeah, I just have no idea of what that well, it's is. It's like the harness. So do you think that this is a different type of balloon, like a weather That's wild. Maybe that's why our cell phones all went down. Dressing room, huh? Last night, this old lady posted this video on my local Facebook group. And this is like three blocks away from me. There's two guys in a hazmat suit, one guy in a suit, just like holding some type of figure. And this lady, Laura, seems really normal. She just loves Taylor Swift. She's a big Swifty. So I, I really have no clue what's happening here. And this happened three blocks that way. And everyone in my neighborhood heard it, and no one has answered. That epic mustache, man. Like, I'm not crazy, not conspiracy theorists. I must but this ask you a question. Crazy, right? Like, I'm not tripping, so I'm going to message Laura to see if I can get some more information on, like, this whole situation. And I'll let you guys know what happens tomorrow. Yeah, Florida always got something crazy going on. <laughs> I, I, I've never seen this video personally, but I thought this guy was just drunk. And, uh, I 
I saw like this first part of it and I was like, ooh, I can't wait to dive into this video. What is that? The hair piece on this motherfucking plane. This is messed up. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing. Is that a dinosaur? The hell is that? Like a big peacock? I don't know. Dude, check this out. Y'all need to go follow this guy too, man. Playing snake in the sky. Hmm. What are y'all's thoughts on that video right there? So look, this guy right here, Incognito Gaming TV here on TikTok, Antonio DeLeo on Instagram. Y'all go check him out, man. He's got a lot of very, very, very interesting stuff. Have a good night. First, I was trying to find something moving, and then those birds flew by. Not oh. knowing is what is so frustrating here. Is this a human caused sound? Is it nature? It's caused such a stir. Residents are now raising money to bring a scientist out here to pay him to install underwater microphones to finally get to the bottom of this and hopefully ease some neighborhood concerns. This is the sound of black drumfish mating. It's the same sound Sarah Healy says she heard inside her South Tampa home Saturday night. Dr. Locasio explains the mating sound travels through the ground, which might explain why homes more than a mile from the water can still hear it. Check this out, y'all. People in Chile are now painting their roofs blue because of the situation that happened to them a few days ago. They are not taking that chance, y'all. <laughs> They saw this helped in Hawaii, so I mean, why not? Might not hurt. That's wild. I hope it's the right shade of blue. And I wouldn't blame him because did you see? Look at the sky, y'all. That's crazy. This is lit. It looks that's. Wow, and you see the sun? How red that is? Hold on, y'all. Look at the sky again. What the hell is that, y'all? Is that another derecho? And again, that sun, man, this is intense, boy. That's judgment. Look at this. A lot of people have been asking me about Ryan. And I'm going to inform everybody about what's going, what's really going on. All right, so quickly, the last few years of Ryan's life in a nutshell. Basically, he was escalated in his career without having to do anything devious, right? Eventually, some people came to him and he found out what was actually going on behind the scenes, the things he's been speaking about, the things we're all aware of, right? When he found that out, he went and got baptized and he got saved. Sometime between the salvation and now, he turned to the dark side. He made the covenant he was not supposed to make. He did the things he was not supposed to do. And he was taken to a location that he was speaking about. And he saw some terrible things. And after that happened, something snapped in Ryan's brain. I can relate. It was 13 years ago when I first saw what they did behind closed doors. And I didn't sleep for a week. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyways, he got really mad and started calling him out. There's a whole bunch of controversy because before he even came out saying those things, people were saying, like, a video came out saying that he had died. <laughs> so then he seemingly comes back from the grave, says all this crazy stuff, then all of a sudden it's like, I'm not going to speak anymore about it. Now, people say this video is AI because there's no tattoo on the hand. Now, remember, this could be mirrored, and I also feel like I saw see a tattoo on this hand right here. Besides that, if it's AI... Why are all these major platforms and media outlets sharing it? That's even weirder. Why would they need AI to talk for him?
Now remember what I told you earlier. He had signed the covenant, the covenant with darkness. What happens when you break that covenant and expose it? They're coming after you and they're going to deal with you. And it may even make you mock Christ, the crown of thorns. And that brings me to this live. The whole time this guy beside him was trying to keep his mouth from opening about certain topics besides boxing. The whole comment section were asking Ryan, what was he talking about? Can he prove it? All the stuff. And every single time this guy would say, oh, there's no questions about boxing. And he would literally cut him off. And when the controller that was put in charge could not control anymore, he literally turned off the live. They don't know how things you've been through, bro. Keep it like that. I can't. All right, it looks like we're not getting oh, wait, any questions, wait, bro. Wait, wait, time travel. No, no hey, no, we can out, we can out, we can out. Bro. Hey, we out, y'all. No, I'm not in this live. Bro. How do we in the live? Bro, for real. Oh, we're out. Bro, we, we have proof. They don't want to give any questions. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> so my final thoughts are, is this Ryan? If so, what was the need for AI? And if so, what was the point of the video coming out saying that he had passed away? So yeah, this whole thing does not add up. What do y'all think? Let me know below. Top comment Wednesday, inspired by the King hoodie. Just to keep you updated on that whole situation. It's okay, well, I was driving home, and this is what I found. I called 911. I do hear the fire department calling, but I have no idea what this is. It's a piece of metal that just has flames coming out of it, and it is starting the grass on fire. I'm just going to move my car real quick hmm. here. I wonder what that was. But if anyone has ever seen anything like these, whatever the heck this is, and if it's okay, let me know. It looks like I hit the dirt pretty hard. That's weird. Hey, well, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another Bryce is Right. Hey, I hope y'all have a great freaking week ahead of y'all. Like I said, make it yours. <laughs> Smile a little bit, and it's going to be all right, y'all. Enjoy this nice weather that's about to be ahead of us. And, uh, of course, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on any future content. And leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know what's going on, y'all. And uh, we'll see you on the next one on Friday. All right, y'all. Peace. I said, bitch. I'm no punk, bitch. <laughs>